Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 64-year-old female with complaints of knee pain for many months. She went to her orthopedic surgeon who gave her knee injections that didn't seem to help as much as she would like, and finally decided just to get an MRI before getting any more injections. And so here we go. This is the MRI of the knee. We see the medial side. This is the femur, the big thigh bone coming down. This is the tibia down below, the leg bone. We see a round area of the femur called the femoral condyle. On the outside, lateral side, a round area in the medial side. We see a little black wedge called the meniscus that fits right in between here. And another little black wedge over here. And the main finding, though, is on the medial side, there's a black line following the articular surface, parallel on the articular surface here. Let me zoom this on up. Whoops. I'm going to try to zoom this on up. And you can see here this line comes horizontally across. Here's the articular surface, the bony cortex. It looks like there's another articular surface here. This is a subarticular fracture line. So it's really a type of stress fracture. There's abnormal mechanics of stress. And the bone is weak. And there's a stress fracture. Luckily, the bone has not collapsed yet. And when we see this, we we'll always look in the very back of the meniscus because the meniscus adds support. It um, causes this part of the femur and this part of the tibia to weight bear together. And when it's not working, there's too much pressure over here. And so if we look towards the back, we can see the posterior part of the meniscus. And in this region, this is the meniscus root. And instead of seeing a nice horizontal black line coming down here attaching, we see this bright band. So this is a tear through the meniscus root, and the meniscus root tore. Now the meniscus is just drifting out here a little bit laterally, or medially rather. It's not doing its job. And because it's not doing, doing its job, there's too much stress here. So this is a typical example of a stress fracture. We can see this on another view. On this other view here, now fluid is bright. So anything bright is abnormal. And all this stuff here is marrow edema in the femur. You see that fracture line again, that subarticular fracture line. And luckily it's not collapsed yet, but this is impending collapse. When you get that fracture line, that means some of the tiny bone fragments uh, are fractured. And we have a little line here, and eventually that will collapse if she doesn't stop weight bearing. And there's that meridema. If we look in the back, we can see the meniscus tear. This is, the, again, the meniscus root. And you can see it goes up instead of going down and attaching here. So a pretty common finding of a medial meniscus root tear and medial pain related to not just the tear, but the stress fracture that's developing because the tear is uh, there, not letting the meniscus do its job. A couple more quick views from the side, same thing from the profile view, and then here's another profile view, another one. And that's it, medial meniscus root tear causing your problems. Thank you very much.